All right, so guys, this is a demonstration that has to do with um, ocean acidification and the fact that we know that the ocean is a carbon sink. Okay, we know that it, what does that mean? Carbon Absorbs carbon dioxide. carbon dioxide, all right? So when we're gonna do this little demonstration, then we're gonna talk about what this means. So here I have two different um, graduated cylinders of water. I have some cold water that is blue, and I have some warm water that is red. And I'm gonna have Caroline here help me. This is a funnel, all right, that I have a funnel in here. And this is warm water and this is cold water. And I'm gonna turn this upside down on top of the funnel. And then we're gonna, um, we're gonna, and I might need you to come help me up here and pull the other one up, all right? So this is the way we're gonna do this. Are you ready? Okay, so I'm gonna turn this upside down and then I'm gonna put it under the water. And then she's gonna put the little funnel under there. You got it? Got it? Okay, and then put it upside down. You are a doll baby, or you went? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, so sorry. Okay, hold that right there, okay? Now, I need you to come help me on this side. All right, Jake? All right, so I'm gonna top this off with a little bit of warm water. Actually, no, because she knows how to do this. You hold this. This is the, this is the non-difficult job. All right, are you ready? Yes. Okay, so we're doing the same thing, and then I will explain what we're gonna do. Are you ready? All right, so I'm gonna turn this upside down. All right, and this is underneath the water. And you can kind of come up here and show this, Amy, of what this is. All right, you got this? All right, so Caroline, come on this side. You can come around on this side, and I want you to grab a um, Alka-Seltzer tablet. So Alka-Seltzer is a way that when we put it in water, it's gonna actually produce some carbon dioxide. All right, so go ahead and open it up. Just rip it, rip it, okay. Grab one, and then you're gonna put it underneath that funnel, okay? So don't let it tip over, Jake. Something on my fingers. All right, but stick it under there. As fast as you can, stick it under Just the like funnel. Just tip it up mm -hmm. more yep. a little bit. Tip it up a little bit more, you got it? Okay. You are a doll. You got it for me? All right, so we're gonna do the same thing over here. Okay, now that carbon dioxide is going into that cold water. Yeah. That carbon dioxide, some of it is dissolving. Ready? Yeah. Okay. I can't tip it too much, so you're just going to have to put it under there as best you can. Okay. All right. Oh, my gosh. You're fantastic. You're All right. Magician. So you are a musician. M musician. <laughs> you're that, too, I'm sure. All right. So, guys, look. So the carbon dioxide that's being produced by the Alka-Seltzer is some of it is going into solution. Okay, some of it is actually dissolving into the water, but some of it is coming out of the water, and that's the carbon dioxide amount right there. Look at what is happening with warm. Do you see that? So how much carbon dioxide can the cold water hold in the water? So, so think about it, think about it. See those little bubbles that are in here? That's carbon dioxide that is dissolved in this water. This is the carbon dioxide that came out of the water as a gas. Okay, so now I'm gonna ask again. How much carbon dioxide is the cold water holding? A lot, right? Because only this much is coming out of the water as a gas. How much carbon dioxide can the warm water hold? Not as much, right? Because it is coming out of solution, right? This is the amount of carbon dioxide that's coming out of solution. So hold this for me. So now my question is, if oceans are carbon dioxide uh, sinks. Isn't it like, like global warming, how the right. oceans are heating up so right. they can't store as much carbon? Why do you need me? A for the day. A for the day. Great, you can turn it off. Great, okay. Got all that on magic, yes.